After her husband, Donald Trump, won the presidential primary, Melania Trump was conspicuously absent from her husband's Super Tuesday party at Mar-a-Lago, their Palm Beach, Florida, estate. At the club's opulent ballroom, the 77-year-old former U.S. president addressed an assembly of hundreds of supporters subsequent to his acquisition of the Republican presidential nomination for a third time. In his victory address, Donald declared, This was an amazing night, an amazing day. It's been an incredible period of time in our country's history. Eric Trump and Donald Trump Jr., his kids, were spotted at the Super Tuesday watch party. Like Melania, Donald's eldest daughter Ivanka Trump was not in attendance, but it is well known that she will no longer be actively supporting her father's political endeavors. Despite Melania, 53, appearing to be in high spirits following her victory, a lot of people discussed her lack of attendance on social media. Tuesday night was Super Tuesday. It was his speech of triumph. At Mario Lego, that is. His spouse Melania wasn't present. A commenter on X on Wednesday stated, He's trying to get more women to support him, but when the most significant woman in his life doesn't seem to be behind him, it doesn't look good. Someone else speculated that the pair might be experiencing marital problems and questioned, Why was Trump acting so depressed last night? His success on Super Tuesday last night should have made him delighted. Was it because Melania didn't stand with him? I believe there is a problem with these. Hashtag Melania doesn't appear with hashtag Trump on the night he wins Super Tuesday? Concurred a third individual. How strange is that? What's wrong with that couple? Page 6 contacted representatives of Donald and Melania to inquire about the former First Lady's absence from the celebration. But we did not receive a response in time for publication. Neither has responded to the rumors on social media or in other publications in the interim. Page 6 was previously informed by a source that Melania planned to step up her political appearances in 2024 in an effort to support her husband's bid for the U.S. presidency. The insider stated that following her excellent welcome at Rosalind Carter's burial, the single mother, who is married to Donald and has a 17-year-old son named Barron, was feeling more sure of herself as both her husband's representative and her own position as a diplomatic figure. But in December, Melania was conspicuously absent from the Trump family's Christmas card. Then it was disclosed that Amelia Nas, the mother of the former model, was unwell, and she was unable to attend the holiday photo session. Soon after, the latter passed away, and Donald attended his wife's burial to show his support. For more, my love, on page 6. Last week, a new book claimed that Melania conceals her actual feelings regarding her husband's problems. It claimed that Melania once wished to see the real estate tycoon, humiliated, due to a sex scandal he had with porn star Stormy Daniels. For her book, American Woman, The Transformation of the Modern First Lady, From Hillary Clinton to Jill Biden, former White House Press Secretary Stephanie Grisham told Katie Rogers, I think she was pissed at Trump and wanted him to be a little humiliated. Last year, Melania's ex-friend Stephanie Winston Wolkoff made references to feelings along these lines. The former first lady, she said to Page Six at the time, lives in an ivory tower of denial and never lets her feelings show or affect her as a coping mechanism.